Welcome back to ULEARN Tutorial. In Illustrator, you can have many different artboards. Artboards is sort of like having different pages in a document. So if I was working on a client's file where they have a logo, a business card, a letterhead, maybe a website interface, uh, anything that it pertains to that client, I could actually have one big file. Now, the more artboards you have, the bigger the file size will be. So you gotta be careful which one you want to use. So maybe you want to split it up where all the print stuff with the print and all the web stuff with the web. To create another artboard, let's get started. There are several different ways of creating an artboard. You can use the panels on the side here. And if you can't see your panels on the side, you can always go to Windows Artboard as well. And on the side here, in the, in the panel itself, I'm just gonna pull it right out so you can see it better. In the panel on the very beside the trash can is new artboard. You can click on it once. And right off the bat, it does create another artboard. So you can see one and two. I'll create another one to show you. So there's three. So you have one, two, three. You can also tell arrange all artboards and what how you want to look at it. So you can have it side to side, row by, by columns, by grids, or by rows. I'm going to say cancel for now. Another method in creating an artboard is going through document setup. And then you can click on edit artboards. And then here, if you have, if you know the exact size, you can also just create, you can duplicate a copy of an artboard, or as you can see here in my, on my canvas here, I have a weird shape of an artboard. I can create my own artboard now. I'll tell you how with it. And I just click on spacebar to pan it over. So again, I'm gonna click and drag a, a size or a shape that I may want. Once you're happy with you having enough artboards, you can now go ahead and just click off it Another way of creating another artboard size, as an example here, I want to create artboard 8. Maybe this is the exact same size that I want. Another way to create another artboard is duplicating the existing artboard. So on my keyboard, I can use a keyboard shortcut, hold down Option or Alt. I get the double arrow, the black and white selection tools, and then go ahead and duplicate that artboard. All these different artboards that it's saying here, if you click on one of them, it also gives you the name. So if you want to, if you want to get more specific on what these artboards are meaning, if you have a home page, you can down write down home. This could be my about page. So again, you can make it very specific to what this artboard does for you. So again, it makes it pretty simple what to do. Now, if you double click it, which I just accidentally did here, you can also do your, your naming here as well. And so either way it works. And if by chance, if you want to delete an artboard, select an artboard that you're in artboard mode and just go ahead and select it and just hit delete on your, on your keyboard. If you are still in the, in the artboard mode, click any of the tools within the toolbars itself to get yourself out of the artboard mode. So it allows you to go ahead and create within Illustrator. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or share it, and also tell people about it.